Hey everyone, so welcome to our HIIT workout today. Uh, today we're going to do an AMRAP work workout, so as many rounds as possible in the 10-minute uh, time window um, that we're going to have. So as we go through our workout today, go at your own pace while we're going through this AMRAP. So if you need to take a little bit of rest, you do that. Uh, if you're going to push a little bit harder, then by all means uh, push. Give yourself a great workout, okay? While we're going through the workout, also make sure we're focusing on that technique. Right? We want to make sure your technique's good, so we're getting the most out of the exercise. Um, you'll need a step uh, or some sort of step to uh, step up on to elevate your one foot while we're doing one of the exercises. So if you have something like that handy, whether it's a step, some risers, whatever it may be, uh, get that ready. Uh, and then the last thing is we're going through the workout. You know, let's have fun while we're going through it. Do something good for our body and have a good time, right? So let's get started with our warm-up. We're going to pop down on the ground. Okay, we're gonna make a little triangle with the front leg, pull the back leg in behind, hands on either side of the knee, nice and tall. We're gonna hinge forward, and back and forth. Okay, from there we're gonna pop up. We're gonna walk the hands back away from the feet so we get that nice stretch through the front of that uh, top hip. Looking over the op the shoulder, so I'm looking over my left shoulder, getting the stretch through my right hip. Good, so from there we're going to walk back to the middle, we're going to switch now, so that uh, my right knee is going to be facing forward, my left leg is holding behind, hands on either side of that right knee, I'm going to hinge forward from the hip, nice and long through the spine, feeling that stretch through my glutes on the right side. Play with the angles, see where I feel the best stretch. Good. From there, I'm going to pop back up. I'm going to walk the hands away from the uh, feet again, looking over my right shoulder now. Nice big stretch in the front of that left hip. All right. I'm going to come back to the middle. I'm going to pop up from there. Uh, and then we're going to tie in that upper body. So I'm going to reach back with my right hand. And then I'm going to bring my right elbow towards my left knee. Reach. I'm lengthening through the chest, lengthen. Okay, I'm gonna hit the other side now. So reaching back, elbow to knee, reach. Good. Okay, and now we're gonna tie in the lower body and the upper body together. So. Uh, I'm going to lunge forward onto the left leg. I'm going to rotate to the left. So getting a little bit of that rotary movement in. Lunge, rotate. Lunge, rotate. Lunge, rotate. And one more. Lunge, and rotate. Good. We'll hit the other side now. Lunge, rotate to the right. All right, so we're all warmed up, ready to go. Um, so the exercise we're gonna have, we're gonna do a split squat. We're gonna do a bent over T raise. So hitting that upper back. We'll do a straight leg glute bridge. We'll be lying down on our back, straight legs, extend the hips up. Uh, we'll do an elevated lateral lunge. So that's where I'm gonna use the step uh, to elevate my foot. And then we'll do a shoulder tap. So a core exercise there as well, okay? Um, so 10 minutes, uh, we're gonna go for that 10 minutes. Um, and then when time's up, we'll get a little breather, okay? So we're getting ready for our split squat. So we're going to do uh, five reps each side, or five reps on one side, and then on the next round, we'll do the other side, okay? So we'll kind of switch back and forth like that. Uh, so let's get set, and here we go. Okay, so nice split position. I'm loading that front leg, okay, getting my five reps in on this one side. And then I'm moving on to the next exercise. Next round, I'll hit the other side. So bent over T raises. I'm going to hinge forward. Hands are hanging right down. And I'm going to lift them up. Like in a T, feeling those shoulder blades squeeze together. Get my five reps there. And then I'm going to go into my straight leg glute bridge. So I'm going to lie down on the mat. The legs are straight. Okay, I'm going to push the feet in the ground and just lift the uh, hips up, the glutes up off the ground. 
Okay, so we're getting the hamstrings working there. Elevated lateral lunge is next. So I'm going to put my foot up on my riser, and then I'm going to bend at the knee, bend at the hip to load um, the leg that's down on the ground. And I'm going to get a nice stretch through that leg that's elevated. So I get my five reps there. I'll hit the uh, other side on the next round. And then I'm going to do my shoulder taps. Okay, so it's five reps. So I'm in my plank, and then I'm just one, two, three, four. Five. So doing those shoulder taps. Okay, so that's one round down. So we're on to the next one. So I'm doing my right side now. Uh, I'm into my split squats. So five reps of that. Okay. Uh, into the bent over T raises again. So hinge. Five. Okay, into my straight leg glute bridge. Pushing those heels in the ground to lift the hips up off. Okay, into my elevated lateral lunge. So set myself up here that I'm hinging. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, and then the shoulder taps to uh, finish here. So in that plank, one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So we're back into our split squat. So that's two rounds down. Um, one to go. So I'm just trying to see. We got to seven or sorry, uh, seven and a half minutes left. Five. Okay. So we've got our split squats bent over T raises. So hinge forward. Make sure the low back's nice and flat. Feel that squeeze in between the shoulder blades. Okay. Into our straight leg glute bridge. So push those heels in the ground. Feel your hamstrings. Activate to lift you up. Okay, then we're into our elevated lateral lunge. So the foot goes up on the riser or the step. Let the weight go on to that leg that's still on the ground. Good stretch to that trail leg. Okay, so now we're into the shoulder taps. So we're into the plank, core is tight. Try to minimize the movement as much as you can. And then five. All right. We're back into our split squats. Five, good. Into our bent over T raises. Doing great. Keep that up. Focus on the technique. Five. Straight leg glute bridges. Five reps there. So let's see. Elevated lateral lunge here. Trying to. Position myself a little bit better here. Let's see if I can do it from this side. I still see me. Yeah. A little bit tight for space, but. Okay. And then the shoulder tap uh, planks next here. So core is tight. One. Right. Come back into the split squats here. Feeling that front leg. Do the work. Focus on that nice flat front foot as you lower yourself down. Then push that foot into the ground on the way back up. Okay, so it's bent over uh, T raises. Hinge. Again, we're focusing on that squeeze in between our shoulder blades here. Okay. And then we're into the straight leg glute bridges. See what kind of room I have here now that I've adjusted the step. Okay. Yeah. Straight, pushing the heels into the ground to lift those hips up. 
really focuses on the hamstrings, back of the legs there. Okay, and then um, my elevated lateral lunge here. I good, really feel that tension on that uh, on that leg that you're dropping down onto, and then the shoulder taps for the plank. One, two, three, four, five. Good work, good work. Okay, so we're on to our right side now, and folks, we've got about uh, three and a half minutes left here. So feel that weight go onto the front leg. It's lowering you down. It's pushing you up. Five. Okay, bent over T raise is next. So again, we we'll hinge forward. Focus on feeling those muscles in between the shoulder blades working for you. Okay. Straight leg glute bridge. Elevated lateral lunge next. Good, really feeling that weight coming on that outside leg. And then we're into our uh, shoulder tap planks. Okay, so we're back on to our split squats here. So nice flat front foot. Bent over T raises. Okay, straight leg glute bridges down on the mat. Okay, we're into that elevated lateral lunge. I'm gonna keep pushing, we're getting near the end. Go and go that way. Big stretch on this one. Okay, we've got a minute and a half left. Push strong, finish strong here, folks. Okay, we're into our, into our split squat again here. Uh, bent over T raise. Straight leg glute bridge. Okay, into the elevated uh, lateral lunge here. And then into our uh, shoulder tap planks. Really keep that core tight. All right, back into our split squats. Nice and controlled as we push through that. Into our bent over T raises. You try and keep the hands in line with the shoulders as you lift. Uh, straight leg glute bridge. Great keep. Oh, in time. So good work. We get a rest now. Grab a drink if you have one handy, if you need one. All right, awesome work so far. I'm just going to arrange. Uh, things here a little bit better, so um, hopefully I have the proper space here. Um, 
So our second group of exercises, so we're going to do a step up will be our first one. So just stepping up, we'll do all one side on the first round, switch to the other side on the second round. Um, then we'll actually use the step to do decline push-up. So our feet will be elevated and we'll be doing our push-up uh, from that decline position. Um, the higher your feet, the harder it is, right? So you incline them what's appropriate for you. If that feels a bit too challenging, we can always do regular push-ups or there's the modified just off the knees, just regular push-up as well. Um, we'll do forward lunges after that, so stepping forward, um, then bird dog crunches, so we'll be kind of uh, extending the leg out, extending the arm out, and then having them meet in the middle, okay? So it'll be that bird dog crunch. Um, and then the last one will be overhead squat. So if we can, we'll put our arms up overhead uh, while we do our squat, so not only challenging our legs, challenging our core and our uh, upper body as well. So great whole body exercise. Okay, so let's take uh, one deep breath, and then we'll get to, we'll get started on the second round. So we'll get started in three, two, one, and we're starting with our step up. Okay, so I'm going to start on my left side. Top foot goes on. I'm going to drive up through that foot, and then I'm going to keep the weight on it as I control myself down. So all the work's being done by that top leg. Uh, so my second one, uh, we're going into decline push-up now. So the feet are elevated. Keeping your core tight there, nice straight line. Like I said, uh, modifications available. We could always do it off the knees if we need. Uh, so forward lunge is next. So I'm going to stick with my left leg. I did the step up with my left leg. So I'm stepping forward, weights on my left leg, driving myself back. Okay, so feeling that load go into the left leg, driving back up. Okay, so I'm going to go into my bird dog crunches here. Um, so again, opposite limb. So I'm going to drive my left leg back. My right arm is going to go out. I'm going to crunch and meet in the middle. Out and the middle. Four, five. Okay. And then I'll hit the other side on the next one. Uh, so overhead squats, like I said, the hands are going to go up. Okay. So I've got them up. And then I'm just going to squat down. So as low as I can keep that neutral spine, I'm trying to keep my hands back as much as I can. So I'm getting those upper back muscles, back of the shoulder working as well. Okay, so we're back onto our step up. So that's our first round done. I'm on my right leg now, driving up through that right leg. Okay. So next is the decline push-ups. Back up, elevated there, or whatever version is right for you. Okay, so we got those. Now we're into the forward lunges again, so stepping forward, landing on that foot nice and flat, drive yourself back up, okay? Uh, if those are too much, again, we can just do a stationary lunge. Um, so just staying in the one position. Uh, whatever is right for you. Okay. Uh, bird dog crunches we're back into here. Uh, so hands and knees. It's going to be the right leg driving back this time. Core tight. Okay. Um, and then the overhead squats. So I'll show you from the front here. Feet are about shoulder width apart, toes turned out a little, hands go up. I'm going to squat down, trying to keep my hands back as best I can. I feel all those muscles in the upper back. So again, you do what's right for you there. Okay, so we're back onto the step ups. Driving through that top leg. Uh, decline push-ups. Oh. And our forward lunges are coming next. So step forward. Drive it up. Land nice and soft. Control yourself down before you push yourself up nice and powerfully. Okay, 
Um, bird dog crunches next. So left leg's going back. All right. Bird dog crunches and then our overhead squats again. Okay, so the hands go up. Go as low as you're comfortable with, okay? Okay. All right, so we're uh, about halfway. I got about five minutes left, folks. Okay, we're onto our right leg now, if you're following along with me. All right, uh, into our push-ups. Incline push-ups, focus on the form, core stays tight. Modify as you need. Uh, so forward lunges now, um, sort of stepping forward, land nice and controlled, drive yourself up. Good work, good work. Focus on that form, technique, go at the pace that's right for you. Okay, um, bird dog crunches, right leg's going back again if you're following along with me. Okay, crunches, overhead squats next. So get yourself set up. Nice and controlled, the foot stays nice and flat. Okay, Whew, getting a little harder to keep the arms up there. Okay, so here we go, back onto the step up. Uh, decline push up, we're back on to here. Five push ups. Uh, forward lunge next. You got this. Uh, bird dog crunches next. Okay. Alright, and then back into our overhead squats. Get yourself set up. That proper squat stands for you. The hands go up. Keep them back as much as you can, right? Challenge yourself and make sure. You're not doing anything to irritate parts of your body. Oh, okay. All right, good work, good work. So we have about two minutes left. On to the step ups. I'm on my right leg. Keep ourselves moving under control. Okay, we're into the push ups now, so decline push ups. Uh, forward lunges coming next. Drive. Okay. Into our bird dog crunches. Stay on all fours. Core is tight. One. Okay, and then the overhead squat. Okay, get set up, hands go overhead, core's tight. Roll down, feel that tension in your legs, push up through the legs. Four, five, okay. 
Uh, so back into our step ups. So on the uh, left leg. Right, into our decline push ups. Good work. Way to keep pushing. We're getting close, folks. Keep that up. So we're into the forward lunges. Land control, power yourself back up. As we get tired, let's focus on that form, really. Uh, make sure we're nailing it. Okay. Into our bird dog uh, crunches. Okay. And time. So awesome work. Time. We can take a breather. We can get a drink. Um, and then I'm going to take us through just a little cool down. Again, focus on that breathing. We're going to recover here. All right, so for a cool down, uh, if you have something to grab onto for a support, wall, um, chair, whatever it may be, we're going to grab the foot, pull the heel towards the bum, push the hip forward, core is tight, feeling that stretch through the front of the leg. Okay, that's good. We'll hit the other side, grab the foot, push the hip forward. Awesome. So then we're going to hit the lats now. So we're going to reach up, grab the right wrist with the left hand, pull over to the left. Breathing through it. So that gentle stretch all down the left side from the armpit down to maybe the hip. Okay, we'll hit the other side. So reaching up, grabbing that left wrist with the right hand, leaning over to the side. Great, and then we're gonna finish with forward fold. So uh, standing, reach the hands up, hinge forward from the hips, letting the weight of the body stretch you forward. Walk the hands back up, reach, holding forward. Hands up, and one more. So reaching up, hold forward. Stretching everything down that back side of the body. Walk the hands up and give yourself a pat on the back. You did it. So that was great. Uh, that was our hip workout for today. Um, have a great rest of your evening and we look forward to seeing you back again soon for another workout. Take care.